Welcome gorgeous beautiful people, Joseph here. This channel is Joseph Make Skincare. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Please like this video and leave a comment and I will answer it. So <clears throat> it occurred to me last night that some of you might not A, have the ingredients to make your own base greens, B, um, have the time to make them, or C, the inclination. So what I thought I would introduce to you guys today is the idea of using a plain white cream which you've bought from the shops which we can then use as a canvas cream. You don't have to spend a lot of money on these guys. I know Nivea do good creams. Um, the one I use and I love is Derma 10 24 seven dry skin cream. This has been reformulated recently. It used to be really, really thick and like axle grease. It was gorgeous. Um, it's now a lot lighter, but that cost me one pound from savers. I don't think you people have savers in America, but my point here is that, you know, if you don't want to make your own base creams, you don't have to, guys. You can add loads of stuff to something like this. As long as it's white or beige, it doesn't matter what color it is, really. But as long as it's um, relatively fragrance free, not too heavy on the active ingredients, um, you know, we can so I put some on. Why not? So it, as I say, it's um comes in a tube, 100 grams or 100 mil, I should say. It is lovely. It's so emollient and just squeeze some out. So you can see the texture of this, guys. It's, um, as I say, it was a lot denser before, but now they've reformulated it to make it a lot lighter. Um, I still love it, though. And if you guys stay tuned, I'm going to show you how to make a dupe for Clarins Beauty Flash Balm using, of course, my most favorite ingredient. Can you guys remember what that is? <laughs> Answers on a postcard, please, too. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, yeah, of course, it's casea powder, isn't it? Or gum arabic, uh, which is a marvelous, wonderful ingredient. I love it, guys. I love a bit of a casea powder. This is one I made last night. Um, I added three tables, three tablets of aspirin into this last night, and it has utterly transformed the formula. It's not crispy at all anymore. It leaves my hands feeling incredibly smooth because obviously I'm putting it on with my hands and washing it onto my face. Um, I'm digressing. Get back onto subject, Joseph, now. <laughs> yeah, so one pound from Savers. Um, you know, it, it, it really can substitute the... Um, the, the base creams, which I've shown you how to make with the mineral oil or the, the cyclomethicone. Um, and it's dirt cheap guys as well. So that's a little beauty budgeting uh, tip for you lovely people out there. And uh, stay tuned and I'll show you how to make the dupe for Clarins Beauty Flash Balm. Oh. See you in a minute. Here's how to make my contouring and sculpting balm. So in a clean bowl, you'll need to empty two thirds of a, a tube of uh, your favorite white fragrance-free body cream or face cream, as long as it's fragrance-free. It doesn't matter. This is my Derma 10 24 hour dry skin cream. In that one goes. So to this bowl of uh, cream, I'm now going to add a teaspoon of the magical ingredient in this formulation, which is of course, gum arabic or arabic gum or acacia powder this is a totally natural ingredient uh, lovey so it you know the, the the cream itself has got um petrochemicals etc so you can use the um the pure diy formulas the formulations i've shown you how to make previously give that a quick stir in there together guys um just that's it this is all going to go in the microwave now so this is it out of the microwave, probably about 30 seconds in the microwave, basically until the whole lot of the cream has melted. The acacia powder will now um, blend in with, with the cream and this will start to thicken up shortly as the whole lot cools. Welcome back, beautiful ones. That's how we make our Clarins Beauty Flash Balm dupe. This one I'm going to call Sculpting Balm or Face Contouring Cream, something like that. Um, should we put some on? It was really simple to make, guys, and I made that using the Derma 10 24 hour dry skin cream. As you can see, I've used nearly a whole tube in that one. But this will, of course, contour the face, it will lift and firm um, and basically add definition to your face. As you can see, it turns quite white to start off with. 
that's absolutely fine. That gives you like a translucence to your skin. And I'll work all of that over my face, um, including my nose. As some of you may have noticed, I do tend to use creams around my eyes. If you've got sensitive skin or thinner, everyone's skin is thin around their eyes, but um, avoid your eye area just because I do. It doesn't mean you should do it at home. Um, and as, as the, um, this one never, it doesn't really dry out as such, not like the, um, the oh, I haven't got my case. Oh, here it, oh, here it is. My case is here and that dries down totally um, and gives you a far more, lifted look whereas this balm just gives you a very subtle lift to the skin um it pulls it pulls the features back um but it, as i say it never really dries down 100 percent um it is gorgeous i love it can you see it's added like a a translucency to the skin it never looks unnatural though guys um no one will tell it you've got anything on your face other than skin really so that's how to make my contouring and sculpting balm, which is a dupe for the Clarins Beauty Flash. Um, it, as I say, it never do, it dries down really, it does stay moist. But if you want to add a few drops of glycerol to, this, to the um, composition to add another level of hydration to the formula, that's fine. There are no rules to DIY skincare. Um, and I've also added a couple of drops of orange essential oil. Now guys, I will have a quick word, about, I will say a quick word about um, essential oils Citrus essential, essential oils tend to be phototoxic. That means that if you wear them on your skin and you go out in the sunshine, the, um, they basically amplify the sun's rays and can, you can burn very, very, very quickly. Um, you've got, I think the worst one is bergamot oil because it's got bergaptin in it, which used to be a constituent in suntan creams in the 1950s, I think it might have been. And um, they've banned them everywhere now. They're world banned worldwide in um, skin uh, sorry, sun creams and after um, suntan lotions because people's skin were just falling, put peeling off, just falling off in great big chunks. So <coughs> orange oil obviously is nowhere near as bad as that, but it's the same, same meat, different gravy, if you like, guys. So, um, yeah, anyway, I'll do the, um, the giveaway results tomorrow. Tomorrow's Wednesday. I'll do the, I'm probably going to do a, a cleansing balm with coconut milk and honey. No, coconut oil and honey so i get it right joseph tomorrow so um and i'll do the i'll do the names pulling out of a hat or that will actually be a bowl not a hat um tomorrow so all right guys lots of love take care